Shania Twain's career has spanned more than three decades with hits like Still the One, Any Man of Mine, and Man, I Feel Like a Woman. She shattered records for female artists of her generation, but her path to success was not easy. You are in a beautiful chapter in your life. How do you feel at this age, this stage, where you are right now? I'm feeling quite liberated in so many ways. The Queen of Me title for the new album is, it couldn't be more fitting for where I'm really at in my own mind. The man I feel like a woman singer has a lot to feel good about. She's out with her first full album in five years, Queen of Me. Her sixth is upbeat and empowering. Okay, so you're going on tour. How do you keep up the stamina? What are you eating? I drink liquids only on show days. So you don't eat food on, on those days you I don't you eat perform. solids. And if I eat on a show day solids, I burp when I sing. <laughs> I mean, I was have but it's like... Shania says she has a lot to be thankful for. She is singing again. A terrifying case of Lyme disease impacted her vocals back in 2003. It would be more than a decade and throat surgery before she got her voice back. I'm appreciating um, being able to sing again after this, you know, very difficult operation on my throat. I'm just grateful for so many things. In a bold move, the Queen of Me artist posed nude for her new album. I did a photo shoot in the nude. Mm -hmm. and in the nude. In the nude. I want to be more relaxed and comfortable in my own skin. Mm. But when you're naked, now you're relying entirely on your own love of yourself and respect for yourself. And Shania opens up about her difficult childhood in her Netflix documentary, Not Just a Girl. Did you know that your childhood upbringing was different, was difficult? You didn't have often enough money for food, to keep the lights on, for heating. It was really clear early on that we weren't like the other kids. All the other kids came to school with lunches. I would always sit there going, oh my gosh, is, is she not gonna eat her apple? When my teacher would ask that, I would say, oh, I forgot it, or it's in my locker. So your escape was what ended up being your talent, which is your singing. Do something else so you forget that you're hungry. I would definitely take my guitar, and I would go out to the bush normally, light a fire, and Play your write songs. That was the greatest escape. Her mom recognized her talent and took her to bars as young as eight years old to perform. She also realized that this could be our break. This could break the cycle of our lives. I felt the pressure of that too. When Shania was 22, her parents died in a car crash. My sister was, had called me and told me that they, that they died in a car accident. And I mean, I just, um, you know, I fell apart. What did you lose the day they died? I lost a foundation, as rickety as it was. Do you think once your career started rolling, did it feel like a puzzle piece that fit? The drive was out of desperation. If I could have been Stevie Wonder's backup singer, that would have been my dream come true. <laughs> my dreams were different from where I ended up. I ended up being this big performer. For her fans, a memorable moment performing at Coachella with Harry Styles. Me and these kids that are icons in their own right are the same kids that were my fans when they were four. I feel like your life has had so many highs and so many difficult times. You know, when life throws you lemons, make lemonade, and I really believe that. Wow. When you I didn't know that when, when you hear the details of her upbringing, she always says, "I wasn't driven by ambition; mm -hmm. I was driven by desperation." Oh, she God. had to feed the kids and her family. She had to do all those things. Uncomfortable on stage, she just kept trying to find her voice. Yeah. It's hard to believe she was ever scared, but yeah. she was. And she said, "Now, now, what she thinks about when she's on stage is give the audience what they're giving me." She mm -hmm. said, "That's the only thing I think about, and it gets her through." But I didn't know her whole backstory. No, I didn't yeah. know her childhood, but then also losing her voice yes. for all those years. How terrible! Terrifying when that was her survival. Yes. That was everything. And she thought that that was it. She thought it was over. Mm -hmm. And it was Lionel Richie who helped her find that voice again mm -hmm. in a beautiful uh, moment. That was great. So yeah. you did a whole yeah. podcast. I was like, I hope this is a podcast. Oh, it yeah. is. Oh, it is. Oh, in I'm fact, so, yeah. We should mention yes. that oh. you can hear more of Hoda's conversation with Shania Twain. It's the Making Space podcast, folks. That episode out right now. So look forward wherever yeah. you get your podcast. Or if it's easier, you can just scan that QR code that's under. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now. <laughs> Personal space. Did you guys coordinate wearing pink? <laughs> no.
work out. I, no, I, I just wore it and I walked up. She was like, we're wearing pink. And I was like, here we go. Here we Let's go. do it. Right. It's going to be a good conversation. Uh -huh. Making space. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.